Hey, hello, everybody. Welcome to a quick Smell the Gloves special with someone very, very special from the Plow Boy CSE in Philadelphia talking about the Philly Fela. So, uh, Seamus, how are you? Good, John. How are you? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. Uh, I understand that uh, it, it, on top of everything else that we've uh, that we've been talking about, that the Dundee may want to play a game in Philly or Boston or somewhere in there. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be fantastic. If they played us here, that would be great. Celtic uh, in the be, U.S.? That would be amazing. It looks like the announcement today, I don't know how much uh, traction is going to be on that, but if it were to happen and it were to be in Philadelphia, rest assured that we would be having one hell of a party. <laughs> wow. As For if you need a reason. Uh, I know, right? Right. So that would be awesome. At, at that point, if, if, you have, if you have that kind of that kind of match in Philadelphia, we definitely bring in some big guns with Rumble Guards and music and everything. Oh, so, God, could you imagine? Uh, I guess we'll just have to stay tuned and see if this happens or not. Yeah, considering we'll we'll fly around the country to just watch a game on TV, could you imagine if the game was actually played there? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. It'd be, it'd be really neat if, if uh, maybe, maybe we can ask uh, Celtic special guest who's going to be coming to the Pale about this when he's here. There you uh, go. So you know. uh, let's go. Let's go so through this. Why, that, don't you, why don't you start out with uh, giving us before we give everyone the uh, this, the um, the new news? Why don't we just talk about what it is that you have planned already? So why don't you give us some dates and give us some info, and then we'll hold the new detail to the end. Okay, sure. So the Fela, our third annual Celtic Sports Fela, is going to be January 29th through the 31st. Um, 2016 here in Philadelphia at our club home at the Plow and the Stars in Old City, Philadelphia, just steps away from Independence Hall. Um, so the Friday, we're going to start off with Big G and the Celtic Dreams show. That's going to kick off around three. And then you and Paulie are going to do uh, your show to kick off the Fela officially, I think at around seven o'clock. Um, we're going to have Derm Far- Farrell from Dublin playing the tunes that night. And uh, it's going to be a great party atmosphere to start the Fela. Um, there's talk of boys from Toronto coming down the bus. I know the Bronx boys are bringing a ton of people. Um, John Neese is coming all the way to Hawaii with his dad. So we're going to have uh, one hell of a group of people attending this year. It's going to be our biggest and best yet. Basically cover the, uh, enti- the entire world, basically. We probably draw a yeah. line around the map. Yeah, and then boys are coming in from Ireland. Boys are coming in from Scotland. And guys coming in from Wales. We've got people from L.A. flying in. and. Um, New Orleans is sending some group, a group of people up, so it should be it should be a great weekend. That'd be awesome. Uh, Saturday, Saturday we're gonna begin the morning um, with Liam Kelly. Well, first we're gonna have a blessing at the uh, on Goodamore uh, Memorial, as, as we do each year, and then Liam Kelly is going to do his um, USA book launch and the Q and A. And there is a strong possibility that he could be joined by another Celtic author who may come as well, and both of them do a. a a book launch and a, a Q and a, a larger Q and a, which would be exciting. That would be um, great. That'd be great. Considering yeah. that all the, like the proceeds, not, I mean, Liam makes nothing off the book, which is amazing right. for him. It's 100% of the profits go to downs and proud. I know it's awesome. It's, it's awesome. Phenomenal. So, you know, we're going to get right behind that um, for Liam and he's going to have a great opportunity to speak to everybody. Um, after that, we're going to have some music um, from one of the members of our club, Tim McMahon, um, and get a good sing song going. And then we, we are going to have um, another uh, Q&A with our special guest from Celtic, who will also be our special guest that night at the Tommy Burns Supper. Oh. Um, and we'll get to a little bit, little bit more about that um, in a moment. Um, <laughs> and then, then we're going to, you know, after that, you know, get people to head away and, you know, maybe see some sights in Philly. And then um, the Tommy Burns Supper is going to kick off probably around 6.30. Um, we, I was actually down the plow last night with John Joe, and we were talking with uh, Marion, who's one of the owners of the plow. So she's putting the menu together today. Um, we're going to review it, and then we're going to um, hopefully have tickets for sale um, online at the end of next week um, for that. We are also going to be we're going to be donating uh, $5 from the first seat of each ticket purchase to the Celtic Foundation. Um, from the Fela. So we're going to give that to uh, our guests to take back to uh, Glasgow. Oh, wow. wow. So, yeah, so we want to do our part um, 
and raise some funds for the great work that Tony Hamilton's doing and the Celtic Foundation's doing. That's awesome. So, um, yeah, so we're going to do that. So we're going to pro- donate five dollars in proceeds of that um, from each ticket purchase for the Tommy Burns Supper. And that we're going to have live music. We're going to have haggis. We're going to have um, woohoo! Yeah, there's going to be some haggis and I'm sure there'll be some Bucky being passed around and. Uh, so that's going to be like a f- more f- a formal of a dinner. Then Raymond's going to play, and we'll just get the the place rocking. Awesome, so we're, some kinky we're, boots. We're, yeah, yeah. So we're looking. <laughs> uh, last night, the number we were thinking about capping things off was anywhere between 150 to 200 tickets. We're going to have to cap it, um, just just because of the size of the the place. So um, tickets will be a hot commodity once we get them on sale. Um, and then after the dinner, there's a, a the Celtic disco. And I know we've spoken about that in the past about what, what the plow turns into. Yes. Uh, so, so that, that'll be good for all the, the young folks that are going to be coming to the Fela. And then Sunday morning, we have the, the cup semifinal Sunday morning. We have the cup semifinal. Good thing is that kick off at half 10. So everyone has some time to recover. Oh yeah. Thank we'll God. Put a br- we'll, we'll be putting a brunch on, I believe. Yeah, and the then, first time was like an eight o'clock game. That was our seven yeah. o'clock. Thing. That was, whew. That was like 20 yeah, minutes so, in bed, a shower, and then get up again. I know. So give everyone a good lie-in. And then um, after the game, we're going to get some uh, – we're going to ask Tim and one of the other members to, to bring the guitars and get another sing-song going and whatever. And then uh, we're looking to take some people down to Yard Brewery in Philadelphia, do a little brewery tour like we talked about before. And then the traditional session starts at 5. So – it's all ready packed weekend of what what should be a, a great time and uh, hopefully the numbers will will be bigger than they were have been the last few years. Like That's I said, we already amazing. blew through. We already went through a whole entire uh, block of rooms at the hotel, which is which is great. We never even had that happen before. So oh so oh yeah, like, I got to get with, that done. With, I, yeah, with six with sixty seven days to go until the Fela. Um, there's still time for many, many more people to come. So they have another second so block with, available coming up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's a Best Western right around the right street from the, the pub as well that's um, doing the same rate. So um, if that does actually sell out, then we'll start directing people over to Best Western. I know awesome. That's where Fitz, Fitz and myself were booked over there this Saturday night. Awesome. So here's what's going to happen. Homeboy's going to be on in uh, about five minutes. So why don't we go ahead and say what the story is. What is the special, special announcement? Okay, so we, we've been talking back and forth with Celtic um, over the last two years to try to get somebody to come out, you know, to represent the club. We were fortunate enough to have um, William McNabb came out for the first day and talked a little bit about the, the academy. Uh, this year, we're really excited that Celtic um, is sending out um, John Paul Taylor, who's the Celtic All right. liaison officer. So this will be the first time in the U.S., North America, I believe, that John Paul has, is going to come out and be able to address fans um, with their question about the club and uh, what's going on with the club and everything. So I think that's going to add a great value to the weekend where we're actually going to have somebody who has a direct ear to Peter Lawwell to come and listen to us and then, you know, be a guest of ours for the entire weekend. Wow. And he's going to do a little, yeah. So it's like a major coup to get him. And we've also requested a piece of silverware. There you go. Which we're waiting to find out if, if um, that's going to come, come to be, but we've requested uh, a piece of silverware. So uh, we get to have photos with it and, you know, get to experience with supporters in Ireland and Scotland and, at, at some of their dues that they have, um, yeah. So hopefully that'll that'll happen for us, and John Paul will be in for the entire weekend. That's amazing. So I'll tell you what, yeah, guys. That's it's awesome. It's yeah, awesome. That, that is an absolute blinder you guys played to get him here, especially during the weekend when they're going to be at Hampton. He's going to be in the U.S. They're going to be playing in a semifinal, and, and Celtic saw the value of getting him across to phenomenal to our Fela. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Anyway, yeah. And, Seamus, and God then, bless you, man. You're, you're thing, killing it. And, and one last thing, we we can ask him, hey, maybe if it, what is is this going to happen with Celtic coming over to play uh-huh. Dundee? Yeah, it'd be great. Who knows? We, we'll get be able to ask him. So hey, we, maybe he can go ahead and tell us. We show him how awesome it would be in Philadelphia, and he'd get the people in uh, Dundee to go ahead and say yes. 
Exactly. Yeah. That'd be awesome. That'd be great. Well, Seamus, uh, I know the homeboys are about to come on in a few minutes, so let's go ahead and, and we'll jump off. I just want to let everyone know exactly what's going on. John Paul Taylor is going to be here. We're going to tweet the hell out of that, let everyone know, and hopefully uh, he brings a, a trunk with him of something that we can hold uh, and take pictures with, which would probably be another great way to go ahead and donate money back to the club. You want a picture? Give me 10 bucks. Well, then one, <laughs> donate money back to. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure we could work something out to, you know, <laughs> Pat and the kitty for the Celtic Foundation. Yes, exactly. Great work. Exactly. Yeah. Seamus, congratulations, man. You were doing an awesome job. Thanks for uh, just jumping on with us real quick to go ahead and share this with us. Thanks so much, man. No problem. No problem. All, right. All the boys are excited. Yes. Hell, hell, everybody. God bless, and All we'll right. talk to you soon. Thanks, Seamus. Take care. All right. Hell, hell. Hell, hell.